Hi winners, welcome to another Winning Wednesday. Now for this video I have seven, let's see how quick I can get through these, um, but seven points for this video. The first one is playthroughs, figure I'll get that right out of the way. Um, what's been going on is it's been Lethe, I was pronouncing it Leith in the beginning, it's L-E-T-H-E -E, and it's talking about the uh, nether realm, nether, hell basically. Um, river and I don't know what it I don't remember at all what it means but we looked up the pronunciation for it and it's supposed to be Lethe so this is awkward I was pronouncing it wrong also sorry for excessive bloom focus camera because it is daytime while I'm doing this uh, whereas usually I do in the afternoon just just in case you're wondering why I'm like excessively white or pale as fuck today but yeah so Lethe has been going on and then I just started uploading on Monday Don't Starve Together that I've been doing with Pirate Captain Dark and Keita Nash Gaming. Um, we recorded those actually quite a while ago, um, but because Dark was on hiatus, we've just kind of built up a little bit and by a little bit we only ended up getting three parts done um, before we started uploading, but we got to record more yesterday. Either way, it, it's going to be whenever I can. Um, I don't think it'll be consistently like every single or every other day for like oh, forever because I mean the game doesn't end but um, pretty much just whenever we have the time or what right now seeing as how busy I've been in August it's a really good thing for, that I have these um, to kind of fill in the space but it, a lot of you seem to really enjoy it or at least the first part. So we'll see how it keeps going as it goes on. Um, obviously, I for a game like that, I'm lo more looking for what you guys like. I'm looking to see if you guys are watching it, liking it, if you guys are responding in the comments, whatnot. Because I don't want to keep uploading something that you guys don't like, and that's a game that doesn't really have an end point other than surviving. So, I mean, as you guys like it, we'll do it. Um, but if it starts to die down, we'll see, and I'll feel out what the best decision will be for that. But yeah, if you guys like it, I would, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit um, that goes along with that. But that really actually does help me know if it's going to do well or if it's not. Um, because I don't want to keep uploading stuff you guys don't want to watch, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, if something makes me happy and I really want to play it, I'm like, fuck it, I'm playing this. Sure, but this is like a never-ending game. Uh, so the, I, I'd rather feel out what you guys are wanting. Um, then... As for Lethe, um, a lot of you aren't as responsive to it, which I'm surprised, but I'm playing it because it's fucking scaring the shit out of me, and I haven't played a good horror game in a long time. Um, but it's really good in the sense of freaking me out. There are things and issues that I have personally, but I'll probably talk about them more as I finish the episode. Um, but just one of the biggest points that I have is the saves. The autosaves are not really a thing. I mean, they say there's autosaves, but I have yet to really encounter one other than after the title screen. So, I don't know, but I have gone 50 minutes twice now without encountering a save in between those. And if I were in the autosaves only, I think if you get, like, killed by a monster or whatnot. Um, and I've had that happen a few times, and I've put been put back to that area instead of, like after I activated, did the puzzle I was supposed to do or whatnot. Like, I'm put back 10 minutes of friggin' work because they don't have an autosave feature that's often. So that's probably just my biggest thing. But that's that's not so much that has to do with the storyline or how it's scaring me or anything. So, like, I still want to keep uploading it. And it's almost done. Uh, if it was, like, a 20, 30-part playthrough, I and knowing, I knew starting out that it wasn't going to get many views, um, but had I started out knowing that and knew it was that long, that's different. But this is just episode one. Figure, kind of throw it out there for the horror fans that really like horror. Um, I know it's more of a slow build-up, atmospheric one. It's really similar to Amnesia. So if you guys liked Amnesia, you'll probably like this. Um, but also, since Amnesia, a lot of games have played off of Amnesia and done their own thing and made even better horror games. So I can totally see why going back to something like Amnesia is a little more out of sync at this point. Because uh, someone brought that up in one of the comments and I'm like, that's a good point. I think I was also talking to Kita and Dark about it and they were, they were kind of saying like, 
Uh, a lot of things have come out since then. We're used to the stuff like Outlast and things like just all the really good horror games that have come out or the ones that exceed our expectations um, that we're hoping come out like Visage and Alice in Road got canceled, which is super depressing. But that was another one and PT and stuff like that. So, yeah, those those freak me out even more than Amnesia or even more than Lethe. But Lethe kind of holds a nostalgic part in my heart. And that's why I'm uploading, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, but there will be more one-shots as they come up. Uh, Lethe should be done on Sunday, I'm guessing, uh, at, holding at six parts. Because I started recording the parts even longer for two reasons. One, because I noticed people weren't looking at it so much. And then two, because there are no saves in between 50 minutes. So it's going to be longer parts. So those of you that like longer parts, have it. Uh, but otherwise, I was just trying to get it out for you guys. That way I can come up with new content and have more stuff come up while Don't Starve is being uploaded. Um, I still have in my back pocket, like, <laughs> another kitty horror show game that I did with River a few weeks ago. I have something I did with Rob a few weeks ago. And then I um, have a personal, like, Ichio double feature type thing that's in the works. Um, but I still got to do part of it. But yeah, like there there will be more different one shots. I just wanted you guys to know what was going on with the ones that are happening and knowing that they're not going to be forever. They're just as you guys enjoy them pretty much um, or they're short. So it will be out as soon as I can get it out um, on a different note. Part or point two is live streams as I always do that update too was this last Friday I did Abzu, which I uploaded the entire full playthrough on Saturday. Uh, or, yeah, I uploaded it on Saturday, but I did the playthrough on Friday. And that was an amazing, beautiful game. If you guys love games with stories, if you love games that have beautiful graphics, I highly recommend watching Abzu. It is amazing. Or playing it yourself. Like, seriously, there's so much you can do in that. You can spend hours just swimming around. And I didn't think, like, I read the comments, I'm like, yeah, because I'm going to spend hours riding around on different fish and stuff like that. Yes, I am. That, that, yeah, I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, I would totally do that for hours. So it's a really good stress relief type game. It doesn't feel stressful. I mean, there's certain points that are definitely towards the end, more story oriented that are like, what is happening? I mean, I bawled my eyes out. If you want to see me cry, that's a good one. <laughs> um, but I just, I really really enjoyed playing abzu and i wouldn't mind replaying it over and over again so that's what happened this last weekend so what's this weekend was i would do another saturday or sunday because that's what i tend to do not so much fridays but no man's sky is coming out friday and i got that as a gift i'm pretty sure it was from vic and thank you again so much for no man's sky but yeah i really want to play that and it's coming out friday instead of yesterday like it did for pcs or i mean uh consoles I think specifically PlayStation. Um, so if you guys have that or have seen parts being uploaded, that's because people have it on the consoles. I do not. I got it for PC and they are holding off on it for some reason. So that's going to be live streamed on Friday. I'm thinking about 8 o'clock. Uh, same as Abzu. So 8 to 10 most likely. Um, that way I don't interfere and step on Craven's toes while he's doing his Friday, Friday stream that he does every Friday. So I'm probably going to do... 8 to 10, and it'll be my first time ever playing it, and I'm really excited, and I hope it goes smoothly, <laughs> so we'll see, um, because obviously it'll be my first time touching it. Like, I'll download it right when I get home from work, and then just see what happens, so. Um, but I will do a live stream announcement, just at, for sure, solid time and day. Um, well, it will be Friday, but what time? Uh, but I'm really excited for No Man's Sky because that'll be a great streaming game, I think, because I can just pause, look at chat. I can – it's just – it's survival exploration game and supposed to be beautiful and supposed to be, like, infinite, and I'm excited. So that will be this weekend. So point number three is I'm about to hit 5,000. And by about, I mean, maybe a week or two, um, maybe, maybe a little longer. I've been getting a handful every day. So like anywhere from eight to like 20, depending on what I've uploaded. So maybe about two weeks, probably around the time of the wedding is when I'm going to hit 5,000 knowing my life. <laughs> it's going to be great, but I have to prepare for it because I won't be able to do it last minute on the wedding week. So 
let me know what you guys would like to see as a 5,000 mark. Um, I've been kind of thinking of a montage. Should I do a specific montage? Like a, I was thinking maybe death montage or maybe just do best moments like I've done. Um, would you guys prefer to see a question and answer? Uh, which I've done those before as well. Um, but yeah, 5,000 feels pretty significant to me. So I, whatever you guys want to see, I'll try and make it happen. Um, I know one of the ones that might get requested is a Draw My Life just exiting that right now the only reason i am not doing that right now is because i literally don't have time and that's going to take a long time and i know it takes a long time to do draw my lives um all the other ones will take long too but draw my life i i feel a lot of pressure when thinking about it and i know it's going to take me a long time and my artistry and my perfectionism it's just gonna be hell and long and not that i don't want to do one i do but i want it to be great and i don't want to be rushed doing it so i think it'll be probably for a bigger milestone uh but fi for five thousand i'm like montages question and answer if you guys can think of anything else maybe i don't know um but yeah i think five thousand would be pretty cool but it has to be something I got scheduled, so it can't be like a live stream or anything, because I don't know when I'm gonna hit 5,000, and if it is during the wedding, I can't. I don't want to make promises. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas, or if you guys prefer a certain kind of upload or whatnot, or maybe just a special game. I don't know, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys have in mind. Then point number four is patron changes are coming soon. Um, I. I think patrons are just about to be... The, everyone's always charged at the first of the month, but then I don't see the money until a little later. Um, so I think I either just got it or I'm about to get it in a day or two. But I'm going to be making the changes soon. It's going to be probably in the middle of August, like probably this weekend or next week, uh, because I still haven't fully decided like what to change for the later tiers or what would be the best basically rewards for you guys for supporting me and being amazing so again if you guys have any preferences or you think would be a cool idea i know someone mentioned maybe doing uh um for like the 25 dollar uh doing a newsletter or something like that that i actually physically send out to people um or something along those lines uh, and then I know there's always requesting games to play, but I know that's also my game wisp. So pretty much just let me know what you guys are interested in and I'll see what tier they should be in or if I can do it or because I don't want to make promises and then not be able to fulfill it. Um, but yeah, they will be changing up soon. I already changed goals, although I didn't know what to do for a goal of 250, but 100, 500, uh, 750, 1,000, like all those. I changed all those. Those are more up to date because those were so outdated. I was like, holy shit, <laughs> I'm already doing some of those things and I haven't even hit that goal, so this is awkward. Um, so those are more updated now, just so you guys are aware. Um, but those, those will be dabbled in. Um, again, the lower tier tiers, which is pretty much what everyone's almost in, in Patreon. Those aren't going to be changed as much, um, if at all. It might be added onto, but you're probably going to be still seeing the same stuff. It's more of the later tiers that I'm like, I kind of want to completely revamp that tier, but no one's in it, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Then point number five is I went to Navy Pier on Saturday. As awesome as that was, my legs are dead because we decided to walk from Union Station, which is the train station in Chicago, all the way to Navy Pier. We didn't realize how long that would take. It took us an hour and a half there and then about an hour back because we took a different way. And it was me and River on the way back, whereas on the way there it was four of us trying to stick, stick together. Um, we were three hours late to the Pokemon Go meetup, so I apologize to anyone that wanted to meet up with me, though no one tweeted at me or commented about it, so I wasn't anticipating meeting up with anyone. But yeah, I thought we were only going to be an hour late, and then we didn't anticipate the hour and a half long walk, and, um, you know, the train getting in and stuff. Yeah, it just it was a bad thing all over. But I got exercise. I hit on my Fitbit. I posted a picture on Twitter of how much it said I had accumulated. I had 20,000 steps, 8 some point something miles. I was like, I'm fucking tired. I, I came home, and I went to sleep. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. Um, didn't. It was like, you know, I got a cool ice cream sandwich out of it. Actually, it was a donut cut in half with ice cream in the middle. It was pretty great. It was pretty American fat assery. I love it. Um, but yeah, so 
it was pretty interesting experience. But on the way there, I did find that there is really cool rock climbing and jungle gym stuff in Millennium Park that I really kind of want to do before they close it down in October. So I may visit again. We'll see if time permits at all in September. So, yeah. Then for this weekend, or wait, oh, the other thing, point number six is Sunday was the bridal shower. So I did the bridal shower. I lived... Huzzah. <laughs> I'm so, needless to say, I am one, really glad that Shy Guy was there. And two, I f- feel really bad because pretty much 95% of the people that were there were my side of the family. So, Snuffles was there, but she was the only friend that was there. I mean, it was great. It was beautiful. The presents were amazing. The love that everyone gave us was amazing. We got, like, prayers and nice things that were written down on, um, like, note cards and stuff, Uh, papers. Some people hand-typed them. Some people hand-wrote them there. Um, Talked about memories they had with us, like, or good advice. It was just, it was amazing. Um, Once we got past the awkward fact that huge family and two people. So... I'm really hoping the wedding isn't as awkward. We're trying really hard to get people to go. I realized RSVP-wise, half of Shy Guy's family also has not RSVP'd in any way. Uh, they're saying they're going or not going. So I was like, Shy Guy, get on this shit. We need to know who's going. So, and there was like a, one family from my side that hadn't responded either. Um, so we're just like scrambling together to get a final head count and we realized shit we don't have rsvps from like half these people so weddings are fun hopefully hopefully the everyone plays nice that would be great that would be most appreciated but uh yeah so but we did get some really cool cookware and we got a lot of gift cards and it was everyone's like oh what's the word uh givingness that's not the word i'm going for everyone's graciousness um giving spirit was amazing i was not expecting everything we got and it was just amazing um and i'm so grateful that the people that showed like that and everyone's helping out in any way they can and even if they couldn't give us something they still like gave us their words and gave us their really nice like notes and letters of what they want us to know and remember while we're married and stuff like it was really sweet so it was it was it was worth it it was good um but on that note the last thing is this weekend another thing that we're doing (laughs) because every week and we have something um is run fair i'm going to run fair with um uh not shy guy because shy guy works but Rob in real life, River, and I think my mo- I know my mom is going, but I don't know if anyone else is going, um, because Shy Guy was supposed to, but then found out he works a triple, so it was great. Um, so if you guys are near Bristol Renaissance Fair and you guys go Saturday, hit me up, text me, tweet me, that's the word, tweet me, and I'll try and say hi and meet up with you guys. But otherwise, I'm just going to have fun and walk around. I also don't know if I have reception, so I'll at least try to remember to say when we're leaving and then say when we get there. (laughs) I was like, I feel a sneeze coming on. Um, But yeah, so if you guys are in the area of uh, Wisconsin, we are traveling there to go visit the Renaissance Fair. And I'm excited because I love dressing up for it. Um, hopefully it's not hot, because right now it's like 90-something degrees, and it's gross, and it feels gross. So, yeah, uh, otherwise I'm just about to go and have dinner with my dad, so I gotta end it here, and it's pretty much, I hit every point anyway. So, yeah, just remember to talk in the comments about what you guys would like to see for 5,000 mark, and, uh, what you would like maybe for the people who are interested in Patreon or already patrons, what you would like to see in the higher tiers or whatnot as rewards, or maybe you have some ideas that I have not thought of. It'd be great. So, otherwise, I hope you guys are winning at life, and I will see you in the next Winning Wednesday playthrough or whatever it is you guys watch. So, keep winning, guys.